Tell me what today is like for you. Ah, well, this is our big release party, and it's exciting, and yet it's kind of exhausting. Um, you know, we're so appreciative that our customers buy our wines in January, February, and um, and then they come today to pick it up. So today is our day to say thank you and to, to give them their wines, and um, so we provide really special food, have a great chef cater that, and. Uh, we try to give them um, just some neat nibbles. We have a chocolatier that made wonderful hand-rolled uh, truffles for us today. And we're showcasing our new wine, which is called Melange. Um, and that is a Bordeaux-style blend uh, uh, made from grapes that we source out of Yakima, Washington. And uh, we just really needed something. We have a brick oven around the corner, and we needed something to pair with the pizzas and the Pinot wasn't always the best match. Um, we also are so tiny with our two and a half acre vineyard that we really couldn't make any more, didn't want to make more Pinot than we were able to grow. Um, we found our niche, we have great old vines and we make some very elegant old world style Pinots from that. So the Bordeaux was a nice way to add some, some more production and uh, offer something uh, special and interesting for our customers. Who are you getting those grapes from? Um, I'm actually buying those under the wing of David O'Reilly and I think it's okay that I that I share that he's been very gracious and hasn't hushed me but um, so the vineyards that he's uh, purchasing from up there which are um, here and there but primarily Rattlesnake Hills at this time uh, we started in 2000 we actually we bought the place in 95 it was an esta well established vineyard at that time it was 14 years old and so um, we stepped in learned how to grow the grapes mark and i and our kids uh, actually went out we did all the pruning and the thinning the um, spraying the whole thing so no crews here um, we're it and then uh, as time went on i got more excited about how what we do out in the vineyard matters so much to the winemaking side that um, i entered into a couple years of enology courses and and launched the winery in 2001 so um, we named our blocks Lenord and Lesud, which is the north and south. Uh, Lenord is the, the larger of the two, and we make about 150 cases off of Lenord and um, sometimes get around 100 cases of Lesud. Now, it, it, you had some early success uh, in competitions, and then obviously yes. you don't need to enter anymore. Well, we got lucky um, and some blessings in there. You know, uh, our first year we uh, entered that vintage in the at the Northwest Wine Summit, and uh, we were thrilled to for Lenord to actually take the best of show for Oregon, and uh, that gave us a great launch. So grateful, Andy. Andy Purdue was actually the first person to show interest in us um, from a writer standpoint, and so he came out when we were making our vintage in another facility while this was being built and was very excited about it um, but had nothing to do with with skewing the win up at the summit although he was there <laughs> so. the wines speak for themselves uh, now what has been the 2008 vintage like to deal with um, interesting we had a really perfect win uh, a summer we had a we had a very late spring and some rain which mother nature did a little bit of thinning for us at that point in time but a beautiful summer it was fairly cool not too many hot days we didn't have any sunburn no powdery mildew um, but the rains came in and the cold weather came in early so we thought we would have a repeat possibly of 07 we dropped uh, quite a bit of fruit in anticipation of, of struggling to get ripe turned out the rains dried after just a couple of days and we had that beautiful Indian summer which um, although we were late bringing the grapes in absolutely incredible flavors we have intensity that we've not ever seen in our time of making wine um, just a really special year we were able to get the bricks and and the acids where we wanted and yet the intensity is is over the top so i'm really excited about it were you affected at all by the freeze in the middle of october not at all okay. not here we have a little we're at the 500 foot elevation mm -hmm. level and uh so we have a little warm pocket that we're in and it that did not affect us okay. now what about uh, your uh pick date when did you start uh, and when did you finish well, we started at 7 in the morning on October 19th. We finished at 11 in the morning on October 19th. 
<laughs> so, you know, we're small enough that um, we, we do hire pickers. Seven pickers have us picked out in about three hours. Okay. You said you had to drop more fruit than probably we usual. We did, yes. We, um, we ended up with eight barrels of wine, so 200 cases. So that's a big alley for us, um, but because we're so small, we... We don't have blending privileges that allow us to get rid of one or two barrels that we don't like, so it's more critical in my eyes to make the very best of uh, the smallest uh, whatever we have to deal with. So if we have a low, qual low quantity, high quality is going to always going to trump that. So this really is terroir then. I mean, it is. It really is. And you know, I, I have to say, I said that early on, and I'm not sure that that I could that I really understood it. And now, um, after a number of years of making the wines from these vineyards, there's no doubt about it. It, it really is, uh, and especially when we're doing the growing. Mark, my husband, you know, is, is meticulous in how he grows those grapes, and that really matters. Um, I will say, I'll do my little plug, that if you have interested uh, folks who would like to join our mailing list, we love new friends. And um, so go to our website at prevevineyard.com, and you can join the mailing list and get invited to one of these great events.